Pisces. This is Abby. Welcome to your reading. Uh, this is going to be a daily reading. I feel like doing a nine card spread, so I'm just going to do it. Um, this is going to be for really any Pisces placement. It could be Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, uh, North Node, South Node. You could live next door to a Pisces. <laughs> you could uh, have a boyfriend or girlfriend, human friend that is a Pisces that you are interested in. It makes no matter to me. I don't care why you're here. I'm just glad you came to watch. And I ask everyone to stay respectful in the comments so I can keep the comment section open, okay? All right, so these are timeless readings. Um, they're going to be just basically, if you find it and it rings your bell, it makes sense for you, great, take it. Run with it. <laughs> Go with it, friendo. Um, not everything's necessarily going to be for you because, I mean, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 20,000 people. Who knows how many people could come across this video in its lifespan on YouTube, okay? So, uh, just take the parts that make sense for you in your life and leave the rest behind. Very good. So, I'm going to be clarifying with a second deck. Um, just kind of going over sort of the movement of these energies here at the bottom of the deck pisces you have the eight of swords so a lot of air energy going on there a lot of thinky thinky a lot of thoughts um could be some things that maybe are keeping you stuck you could be like a little bit of analysis paralysis perhaps and it kind of makes sense you have the hangman showing up here right off the hop um with the hangman ten of coins in the strength card uh this feels like there could be something to do with your abundance a job family legacy okay uh that you might be kind of having a little trouble actioning both strength and the hangman or uh, tend to kind of indicate a holding back of some kind. Um, part of it is analysis, okay? A hanged man often is talking about trying to gain a perspective, could be trying to figure out a way to make something work here, especially if there is an issue with, say, money household or, you know, a family issue. Strength is, you know, a lot of patience, really. It's often taming the beast. You could be trying to keep your temper in line. Um, I am feeling like it's like we have Leo Pisces energy here. Can I have some more about this hangman, please? Or this hanging man? Mm -hmm. And it's around the Ten of Cups. So very nice here. So this, this feels like trying to contemplate on your happiness. It could be a relationship. It could be a family situation. Um, for others, I feel like this is just going to be you maybe really trying to figure out what makes you happy. If you have been in a period of sort of stagnancy or unhappiness lately, you might be trying to figure out that target, right? A lot of the time it's hard for us to like to hit a target unless we even know what we're aiming for. So I'm feeling like some of you are maybe just trying to improve your aim. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm getting there. Uh, what do we have with this 10 of coins here? The moon. Okay, so there could be something to do with some fears around money. This feels also like maybe I'm wanting to say secrets or um, sort of like the unknown and mysteries. For some of you, this could have to do with... Like it's almost like being a mystery to yourself. <laughs> Like they like having I'm I'm getting for some okay I'm gonna give you a couple different spins because there's a couple things coming to mind, for some ten of pentacles can have to do with say like happy home, legacy having like um, the nice house and the nice family and everyone's well taken care of and you're generous and you're set up for generations and everyone's gonna be great right and the moon is kind of like hmm what do I like how am I gonna get there I'm not really sure how to do it. Um, I'm kind of scared that I'm not already even sure if that's what I want or am I wanting the right thing in the, in the right way for the right reasons. Um, there was also something that kind of flitted in about maybe money itself or handling money being kind of a mystery to you. Um, but for that, all I would say is just 
get to know it, you know? It's it's something that can be studied if it has to do with, say, home life or investing or taking care of a, a home, something like that. There could also be something revealed to you about some kind of family legacy. Uh, this doesn't feel like a bad thing. It just feels like it kind of, um, I think, answers a question. Something that maybe was kind of hidden before. Ten Pentacles again. The Strength card. <laughs> and Ten Pentacles. All right. Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. So. This feels like a period of sort of like maybe a little hang up, right? Hang up on the happiness. What do I want? A little fear and unknowing but shifting into the material world from fully like the emotional world. Ten of Cups is all about emotions and Pentacles are more about the 3D. So it feels like that's a good shift, okay? The Strength card, this feels like there might be some kind of show of strength, some kind of display. You might be kind of holding yourself back in a way. Because it feels like you have bigger plans. Like I wanted to say earlier on, I'm not sure if I verbalized it, but I remember like looking at this strength card and feeling like someone may have ticked you off and you're having to be very patient um, with expressing yourself on it. Could be someone made like an assumption about you or your plans or your worth or your, um, your potential. Um, I know like Pisces really hates being underestimated. <laughs> um, I know lots of people hate being underestimated. Uh, but it, it, I feel like it's a pretty consistent trait that I kind of see. So I think that there's almost like a, there's a very want to prove someone wrong kind of thing happening here. Which, hey, if it's a lot of achievement, this is some beautiful stuff coming in here. I mean, you've got all the tens. <laughs> this is just like pretty bonkers here. Okay, in the middle, sort of present-ish, right? We're looking at the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. More Tens, Pisces. You may feel like at this time that you are kind of clearing the air and closing out cycles at breakneck speed. <laughs> and it's like coming in and making some very decisive choices about the things that you love the most. Strongest card in a nine card spread is usually the center card here. And you've got the Ace of Cups love potential new starts <sighs> feeling something really wonderful now there's been a lot of work involved in stuff you've had to carry a lot of things and this feels very much like realizing what you really want emotionally and into the 3d as well okay um bringing those things into reality and doing it from a place of love, of self-love, of acceptance, and thinking very a lot about the people that you want to uh, share it with and hang out with and uh, build with, okay? So this Queen of Swords is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Is there anything else here we should know? Two of Cups could be a love interest, possibly. This could be you making a very... Um, it feels almost like if there is a decision in love to be made here, it's you going into more of an active phase and it's gonna take some communication, like speaking your truth with this Queen of Swords energy, okay? For others, if this isn't a love situation, then this could very well be like trying to find your happiness if it's a, a job or like a raise or an opportunity of some kind, of you taking a very sort of blunt and um, honest approach to what it is that you want why it works, why it's good for you, and making those choices. This Ace of Cups, yeah, and the Ace of Swords. Love and truth, look at this. This is nuts. This is nuts, Pisces. Just truth, victory, love, potential, overflowing of emotions. This is really beautiful. This feels like you coming to like a very sharp, it's like such a focus and probably some more alignment between the heart and the head. You know, if you've had a time where you were very thinky, thinky, thinky here in this eight of swords mode, this feels like a time where it's becoming more uh, easily focused, you know, 
rather than just thinking all day and night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ten of Wands and Nine of Wands. Didn't we just have this the other day, this sort of combination? I think they were in slightly different positions. But like, there is a burden of some kind, something you've put a lot of work into. And you definitely have the energy to give something a go. This feels like you really trying to figure out if it's worth it, if the juice is worth the squeeze, is what I'm wanting to say. Because it's like trying to find the truth about whether it aligns with your real purpose and the things that you love and where it's going to take you, whether that's a relationship or a job or a course of study in school or a certificate or the people around you, whatever it is. Um, this really feels like you kind of cleaning house. It's a lot of, is the juice worth the squeeze? Hmm. Very, um... Nice, kind of bossing up energy. I like it. I like a good boss. There's nothing I like better than a fishy in a bow tie. Taking names, Empress, moving in the High Priestess. So this is gorgeous. So there could be a Taurus or another Pisces, but this looks like um, a lot of abundance coming into like your intuition really about how you feel and where you want to go with it. I think it's also for a lot of Pisces, kind of like realizing your potential realizing what you're worth, realizing that you can really kind of have it all here. You also have the four of wands and the seven of, or the six of swords. So it could be some kind of improvement that has to do with things like maybe buying a house or um, a marriage or a union. <laughs> uh, it could also be improvements with maybe moving. You might have to move on to some place or someone or from someone. But this feels like what you're coming into is a whole lot of abundance and a whole lot of new stability right a new kind of finish line for you to cross here i really like it let's see what else we have here about this <laughs> four of wands two pentacles okay okay so there might be some kind of i'm wanting to say like a deliberation um there could be something that you juggle you could have a couple different things that you are trying to go between and I mean you have an ace of cups and an ace of swords so there could be like say if there is like a home purchase there might be like a home that you really love and is like your dream home but it's outside of like a little outside of your purchasing range or it, and there might be another one that isn't quite perfect and like move in ready you know there's stuff that you would have to do to it over the years and improve it and stuff and you're just like oh, i'm not as in love with it as i am with the other one but it's the more logical choice um could be something like that for some of you with love and marriage and commitment it just feels like there might be a little bit of a juggle but it, it kind of a feeling of like you can handle it though. The two of pentacles doesn't say, you know, they don't really show them dropping the ball, if you will, <laughs> you know, that they're juggling kind of for eternity and learning how to have some fun with it. There could be, um, for instance, like juggling between, like say you have a day job and a side gig, or you have a relationship and a career ambition, or you have uh, schooling and a relationship like there's something like that but it feels like trying to have some fun and building those foundations and understanding that you can have multiple balls in the air at the same time <laughs> okay uh, and we can't always have a firm grasp on everything some things you have to kind of like wish it do your best boop let it go catch the next thing take care of it boop let it go right um kind of feels like it's asking you to have some more fun having trusting your intuition and going towards the things that make you feel juicy pisces the things that make you feel abundant that make you feel like you are in your empress mode whether you're male female or otherwise okay and that's kind of what i am getting from that with six of swords the chariot both cards of movement and moving on right moving into a time it feels like a lot of you are going to be on the move. You could be traveling. You could be changing jobs. Um, maybe you're going to get a new ride, new whip, new car, you know. But I feel like for a lot of you, it's really just like this 
I'm from this whole reading, I'm getting this very strong vibe of improvements and deliberate improvements because it's like this time in the hangman's tree was not a waste because it made you understand more about yourself and more about what you wanted. And it made you, you took some time to question. Um, the hangman is doing something that is kind of against the grain, right? They're going against the grain, they're going against convention, and they've decided to put themselves in this uncomfortable position and look kind of foolish and weird so that they can find some enlightenment and find something new in all the stuff that's around them. And it feels like maybe you had to go through something where you were a little kind of outside the box here, Pisces, to figure out what it was that you wanted and how you were going to go after it. Maybe you had some ideas about money or family or home that you had to kind of confront, that you had to kind of look at and go, what is it about this, right, with this moon energy? Why do I believe this? Why do I, I want this in the first place, right? Where did this come from? Um, that's what I'm getting here, very much so. And I'm feeling a lot like whatever it is that you're moving towards, this is a really beautiful, I'm curious, I'm just going to pull some more cards. Let me check my time here. Yeah, um, this just feels like you're moving towards something that's going to work out really well if you really trust yourself and you do the scary thing and you, you try and go towards something, it feels like it's going to turn out really well for you. Yeah, Page of Cups, so it could be a new start in love, an admirer getting a message or an apology from someone in particular. Ace of Cups again. See? Lots of love or e like emotional fulfillment. If you're not interested in love, this could even be like, like say we have the Four of Wands. Um, you could end up, if, if there's the... <laughs> The house that you really love, for example, or the career choice that you really love and have your heart set on. Um, that might end up being what you end up going towards here. Ace of Wands. What is with you, Pisces? What's in the sauce? <laughs> what what have you basted this reading with here, Pisces? Um, lots of passion, moving towards the, the things that really blow up your skirt or your kilt or your um unisex garment <laughs> like whatever it happens to be right this is gorgeous i love this reading and the lovers at the bottom of the deck beautiful so going from a time where it's kind of like a spider web right maybe you were in a chrysalis maybe for a, a long time before the new year there were lots of readings that were coming through for pisces that were about sort of being in butterfly soup and being in the chrysalis and starting to hear it crack, right? <laughs> starting to kind of come out of it, starting to kind of wriggle free. And it almost feels like with this, it's like being in a chrysalis that's also inside of a spider's web. And the spider's web is like all of the possibilities, all of the things that could be, all of the things that could have been, maybe society, maybe um, impressionistic assumptions that you have about yourself or other people in the world or how far you can go or limiting beliefs or whatever it happens to be. Maybe you're just so spoiled for choice. You're just not even sure which way to go with something. Maybe something forced your hand and you had to make some decisions while this transformation was going on. And now you're in a position of being able to choose, choose wholeheartedly, choose from a place of love and harmony and self-care and really kind of closing the distance there. Could also be talking about a relationship kind of coming into focus. I tend to view these underlying cards as the underlying energy in the beginning and then where it ends up. So starting off, you know, maybe a little conflicted, right? Maybe kind of worrying a little bit, but then coming to a place where it's like, no, I'm, I'm choosing from my whole heart for my whole heart, right? Aces on aces on aces on aces, Pisces. This is gorgeous. Okay, so... Let's get some moon. What can we have from the moon for my Pisces, please? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No? Okay. Okay, so your two biggies are to balance your practicality and your spirituality. Hopefully that's... Focusing for you. And then also we have the answers you need are coming. 
this feels very much like that's kind of in the middle of it. There's a lot of this sort of imagery here of like, uh, do you see it's like the high priestess has like this sort of download straight into like the crown chakra with their third eye like all lit up. The ace of wands, that intuition like lit up right from the middle of their forehead. Um, this ace of swords, right? Receiving downloads. It just feels like there's a lot of this kind of energy happening here. And what you may not realize yet is that if there is something you've been thinking about, if you've been in hangman mode, you know, for a while, um, there was a reason. Something will be true. I just keep wanting to say like something will be revealed to you that you already kind of knew. <laughs> You'll realize you knew it or you had it or you possessed it whatever it may be trust the process yeah balance your spirituality and your practicality pisces while trusting the process so um this means that we don't get completely lost in the otherworldliness um and we come back to earth every now and again and check in and make sure that the shit that needs to get done gets done so knowing that things will work out that something better can be on the horizon and just having some confidence in the universe like doing the stuff that you need to do to improve things one step at a time, even though if that's as small as like making a checklist, you know, of your daily self care, you know, um, especially if you're in a really miserable place, um, which I'm not implying that anybody necessarily is, but I know when I found tarot and the internet initially, it was when I was in a, a crummy place and I couldn't find a reader who was available for months. And so I was like, it, is there tarot on YouTube? And then I found it and it was like, what the hell? Um, but I know that for me, when I was in a crummier place in life, it's incredibly helpful even just to be like, okay, so what are the things I'm going to do when I wake up? It's like, get out of bed, drink, drink your water bottle. Okay. Brush your teeth right away. Okay, cool. Um, and like, you don't have to do all the things, but so long as you do most of them, some of them, the first couple, you can put in things like, I think my my list is like, it's pretty long and it has things like do 25 squats, right? Like get out of bed, do 25 body weight squats, just to move your body and, and convince your brain that you're not asleep anymore. You know what I mean? Um, to get something started. Sometimes that stuff can be really helpful. Um, Let's see here. The answers you need are coming. I want this one. Flamingo. Okay. So this is talking about friendships. I want to make sure that's focused. Okay. So saying enjoying your friends, balance and chaos, dealing with your emotions and mastering your energy. I feel like the more that you enjoy yourself, the more that you allow yourself to love life, and to find some balance, to take care of yourself, to not overextend yourself, um, to deal with the feelings you have and not hide them away, Pisces. Like, I don't know if it like, I think it's like Cancer Moon's tarot. I remember watching him talk once about how um, his partner's a Pisces and how he's like, have you ever seen a Pisces decide they're not gonna think about something anymore? And they just kind of like stare into the distance for a second. And then it's like that memory's gone. <laughs> it's like, they just go like, Bzzz! and like get rid of it and file it away somewhere. It's like, I don't want to feel this. Okay. Bye. Oop. Like just so good at avoiding things. Um, and it's an amazing, uh, survival technique for a lot of people. Uh, if you are someone who identifies like that, and of course it's not all Pisces cause not all traits are all Pisces. All right. Um, but if you are someone who happens to sometimes sort of file your feelings away, uh, this feel like the more that you deal with them and come into balance with them, allow yourself to be around good people or to seek out good people that that's going to bring you the answers because they're in you. I swear Pisces, they're in you. Okay. Let's get an energy Oracle. May I please have a card for my Pisces, my fishies. Card for my Pisces. Card for my Pisces. Please. 
It's funny, this was at the bottom of the deck right when I started shuffling. And I saw it out of the corner of my eye and I felt drawn to it. So it's interesting, I decided to sort of spin out of here. So it says relaxation and meditation. Okay. So it says this card shows a man in a meditative and tranquil state. The message here is that it's time to relax. You may have been busy lately, but you should soon be finding more time to just let go. When you do, allow yourself to go within and open up to the peace and wisdom that are vibrating there. This card upright indicates that there should be more leisure time for you now and more of an opportunity to engage in peaceful thinking. So make it a priority. Your connection to spirit brings great assistance, but it can only be achieved through regular relaxation and meditation. Now is a great time to make sure you insert this gentle activity into your daily life. In many ways, this is far more productive than unceasing action. Very true, Pisces. You need to learn to sometimes stop, sometimes rest, sometimes check in. Um, sometimes, especially if you're someone who likes to go, 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 go. And uh, I mean, it depends on all of your placements is the thing, right? I know sometimes people are like, Pisces, you know, don't tend to have a reputation for being super ambitious, but Pisces can be so ambitious. Like there are so many like Fortune 500 big Forbesy types, you know, who are Pisces. Um, and so sometimes I, f I feel like it's because um, so like being very inventive and, and good at looking outside the box, you can get very excited and pumped up by that stuff. Um, and sometimes it can be easy to kind of ignore it and ignore your mm, emotional wellness maybe. Yeah, especially if you're really good at kind of pushing it aside to go after whatever you want. Beautiful. Because remember, <laughs> what? Okay. This is the affirmation says, I make relaxation a part of my daily life. Peace and quiet bring me clarity and joy. I like it. Okay, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there because I want to get a few of these done today. So big hearts to everybody. Thank you so much for all of your support while I was, it wasn't a long hiatus. I mean, it's not like I disappeared for weeks, but I know that for people who are used to watching me every single morning with your coffee or at night before you go to bed or at lunchtime in the break room, whatever you're doing, um, if you're commuting and listening or doing whatever, I know a few days can feel like a long time. And um, so thank you so much for being so supportive and so patient. I just needed a little time and I got it and I feel good. So we're going to roll with it, babies. I'll see you on the next one. Um, subscribe if you haven't already or don't. I'm not a cop, but I mean, it'd be pretty cool of you. And uh, yeah, big love. Bye now.